Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success. And so when you're doing like marketing and things like that, you really have to know who do you want to attract, understand how their brain works. Like usually by default, you attract people that are like you. That's kind of why like you pick your friends. Um, Typically your friends, it's not opposites attract. It is in the business world, definitely. But when you're young and you think you're meeting your love of your life, all that crazy stuff, um, you don't really know like how it's working. But then when you understand the psychology behind it, opposites attract. How it's like golds and oranges attract each other. Lots of women are gold. They're caretakers. Lots of men are orange. And so orange men need gold women or vice versa. You could be an alien. You could be purple. It doesn't matter. Those personalities attract. Gold people need spontaneity every once in a while, but they're not good at it. And orange people need structure to pay their bills on time and like things like that, right? So they attract. Green and blue, same thing. So green needs a little bit of the blue to take care of them, to have a little bit of soft heart. And then blue needs a green to make the decisions because they can't make them. But sometimes people's numbers are so off. This is why people cheat so frequently because you spend more time at work than you do at home. Like when I turn around 30, I'm like, okay, I know who I am. I know what I want. I know what I don't want. I know what I like to do. I know where my strengths are. I know where my weaknesses are. And then I'm going to surround myself with people that are amazing at the things I'm not, and we're going to work together as a team. So I kind of started to figure it out. So it's like the older you get, especially if you're not married or you don't have a partner, you get set in your ways. And unless you meet someone just like you or you can conform, it's not worth it. If you don't respect each other's color, you ain't going to make it because you're blue and you're green and you're going to go to work and meet a blue boy or blue girl, whatever way you want to go. And they're going to pay attention to you the way you need it. And you're done. Right? So if you know what you like and if you know what you're going to respect, you have to respect each other. But a lot of couples don't know these things. And again, like it's a great balance. Like when I have two orange people getting married, I'm like, this is going to be a hell of a party and we're going to have so much fun, but they don't use the word deadline. And so it's like, I kind of, I'm just like, uh, and they'll pay late fees. Like they just don't care. I mean, so a lot of times I'm just like, Oh, okay. So this is what we're doing. And I have your credit card. This is just what we have to do. Um, but for first marriages that rarely happens because it's the opposites attract. It's the second marriage is where they kind of know what they want more. Um, Most of our clients are over 30 anyway, so they're more established. And usually you kind of attract what you are. But then also, like, it's not always amazing. Like, it's kind of annoying sometimes that they won't make a decision and they don't understand a deadline. But I also have to understand how to act a different color to get things done so that we have deadlines. Like... You want to get married on a certain day. Like, there's this thing called deadline. Um, So anyway, it's just opposites. I don't even know how I got on that tangent. So much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable. You've been listening to Weddings Unveiled with Angela Profit. Join us next time for more insights to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. For more great resources, head over to AngelaProfit.com.